really, really popular in Japan. I waited for like two hours for a pop up. Before we get into the rest of the vlog, I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you don't already know, Ana Luisa is a fine jewelry brand based in New York and I have personally been wearing their pieces for a while now and can definitely vouch for the quality of their pieces. What I love about them is that they're not only cute and affordable, they're also water resistant and hypoallergenic. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the pieces that I got from them. The first one I've got here is the Paris mini earrings. They are these tiny twisted hoops and I just love them so much. They're so cute and so versatile. I know I'll be wearing them so much. And the second item I have here is the Cody ring. It is this old signet ring dipped in 14k gold and it's just very simple, very elegant and go with any outfit. And last but not least I have these Alina bracelet. What I love about this is that the clasp is adjustable. I'm not usually a bracelet girl because a lot of the bracelets out there just don't fit my tiny wrist but these are perfect and I love the little touch with the heart at the end of this. It's so cute. If you're interested in checking out Ana Luisa, you can use my code JUDILY20 for 20% off your purchase. Good morning everyone! While I'm getting ready for my hair appointment, I thought I would share with you guys some of the things that I bought from Japan. I'm using the lash curler from Shiseido. It just fits my eye really well. And next I'm using this mascara from Kingdom. It's, it is really special. The normal mascaras are very thick and they cover over your lashes. This is almost like water. It separates your lashes and it doesn't clog at all. I probably won't repurchase this just because I want a little bit more volume but I will finish this. I also got this blush. It's so beautiful. I really like this, it's very natural. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. I also got a bunch of lipsticks. I got these two from Kate. They're the Lip Monsters. This is really, really popular in Japan. And when I got this from the cosmetic store, it's not even with the other makeup in the Kate section. It has its own table out on the front with lots of shades in one basket. So I got two from them. I really like this shade. This is number three and it's really popular because apparently it is a little glossy but it stays on your lips the whole day so i'm gonna test it out as well because we are doing everything new from japan i put on this denim skirt which i don't remember the brand but i will link it and my new balance 2002 r and finally my vintage chanel mini flap this is like my dream bag so when i found this bag in japan in good condition i just i died and this is the fit
I just finished work. We're gonna have dinner really quick and then head out for dessert. It's a pop-up dessert place that opened um, upstairs of Hararuya Pantry, which is like this really popular mochi ice cream place. I had to book through Instagram and they're only open like Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks really cool, so... <laughs> start making some breakfast my brother-in-law sent us some coffee beans from Hong Kong and really excited to try them it's got floral it's got lemongrass it's got lemon happen to see some burrata from Pulse yesterday and I'm not looked at any recipes so over to Condom because apparently they have a pop-up collab with Blackpink. So I got a pink t-shirt. It's a lot cuter than I thought. I really like the graphics at the back. And this is the front. I waited for like two hours for the pop-up. Was it worth it? Probably not. The quality is not that good. I wouldn't have bought anything if I hadn't already waited for two hours. <laughs>
I'm going out for lunch. Well, 